Hello, welcome guys to a new video. In this video, what we're going to be doing it is set it, setting up DDNS with PFSense Firewall and Cloudflare. So I, will, I went ahead and uh, purchased a domain with Cloudflare. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be pointing our public IP or dynamic, right? That it changes all the time because I have a Comcast home public IP address and what they do is they just usually rotate those IP addresses so you never uh, every once in a while you get a different public IP address and to be able you know to reach your home network what you need to do is that you need to go ahead and create uh, a dynamic DNS and Cloudflare lets you do that so what is going to happen is that whenever the PFSense firewall sees that we have a different a, a different public IP address. It is going to update our DNS record so we can always have an up to date um, uh, DNS to IP address or domain name to IP address. Uh, so this is a good solution, and it has worked wonders for me in the past. So now let's go ahead and do that. Setting up the DNS with PFSense. So the first thing is you need to have a domain. With Cloudflare, I just want to go ahead and purchase this. I think it was like six dollars. Best home lab ever. That X Y Z, and for us to be able to, you know, to update those DNS record, we do have to, um, we do have to get the global API key from our account, from the Cloudflare account, and add it to the PFSense. So, so PFSense has uh, basically the access. Um, to edit that um, IP address field for the domain name. And let's go ahead and first go over here to my domain that I purchased. Um, what we could do, blah, blah, blah. we can go ahead and do, I don't want to do any of that. Let's go ahead and, looks like my account got set up. Okay, cool. You can set up, you know, EMS, DNS. Uh, we want to go to the DNS records. And in here, I have created this one over here, but uh, we can go ahead and let's go ahead and leave it like this. So what I did was I just added a record and a record in here. I put a subdomain, so my subdomain is ddns that um, best home lab ever that xyz, right? So that's what that's the one that we want to do. So if you go to edit, this is how I did it, and a record ddns. And I just pointed to this IP address. Um, this uh, obviously is going to be changed by PFSense whenever we connect the PFSense to the Cloudflare, right? So let's just go ahead and keep it like that. Save it, all right? So we have this A record in here. So this is basically DDNS that uh, best home lab ever that XYZ, right? So you can see right here that is one that one that one that one, and the the proxy is set to off as well but we are going to turn it on from pfsense um, so how do we get that uh, how do we get that uh, api key that we need you're going to go to your profile and in your profile you're going to go to api tokens and you want to go ahead and copy your api your global api so go ahead and view it and for this you're going to go ahead and enter your cloudflare password you need to verify that you're not a that you are a human and you're not a robot view it right this is make sure that you don't share this with anybody because this is basically your password because the global api key can basically change anything on your cloudflare account so make sure that you don't um, share this with anybody hopefully i remember to blur this out so let's go ahead and go to pfsense now that we have installed we are going to go to services dynamic dns let's go ahead and add a new one in here we're going to be choosing Cloudflare. If we find it, there we go. Cloudflare. Make sure it's Cloudflare and not Cloudflare v6. Okay. Over here, we're going to put the DNS and the domain name is best home lab ever. That XYZ. Our, we are going to enable proxy. If you remember, we did not enable proxy um, for the domain, but we want to enable it. Um, we want to uh, enable it from here so, so you can see that we are able to do that in here you're going to put the um, 
your email the email address associated with your um, Cloudflare account and in here is where you're going to put the oh and I cannot paste can I I cannot paste so that is not going to be fun so I'm gonna have to just copy one by one which is not fun so let me go ahead and post this real quick okay so I was I just learned how to basically copy and paste to this browser you just go to clipboard and you paste whatever you want in there and then you use the control V and control V over here um, so hopefully I'm blurring everything now <laughs> and use that a description we can just do DNS that best home lab ever that X Y Z so let's go ahead and save this don't say over here close this and now what this is going to do is that you know it's going to connect to it's going to get a public IP address it's going to connect to Cloudflare and it's going to update that DNS record to point to our public IP address so hopefully it is doing that making sure I got everything Cloudflare when DNS best home lab ever that XYZ I got the username I got the password and I'm saving it so that's great let me see if we got updated already um, DNS records refresh this bad boy in here and see if it now shows our public IP address and it is yep that you can see right here it got I mean you won't be able to see it because I'm blurring my IP address but right? I don't want you guys to be hammering my pu public IP address so you're gonna see that it got updated over here and we remember we set up the proxy to be disabled but you can see now that it is enabled over here so you can see that that is working and if you want to do just another test right this is working I think it just got hung but it is working go back to DNS to dynamic DNS you can see over here hopefully I remember to blur this out and you can see the status if the status is green then you're good to go and if you go ahead and go over here if you want to disable the proxy you can go ahead and do that just save it right and then after that let's see if it disables the proxy right and let's go ahead and do a refresh over here and let's see if it disables the proxy now it's still saying proxy maybe I gotta push the, the DNS every time I'm doing a video the cat wants to come here and go to the litter box so you can see that yeah so save and force update that that should put be able to push it um, so let's go ahead and go back over here I just want to see making sure that it's still working refresh the Cloudflare dashboard and it's still proxy so maybe it's just not working let's go ahead and go to dynamic you know what let's just go ahead and leave it like that it is green right now but I just want to enable proxy still anyway so let's go ahead and force an update and that should be able to force an update let me just do another refresh and what this is what this is going to do like I said before so now you see that I have that or that you have that public IP address and whenever your public IP address changes um, to another IP address what PFSense is going to uh, be able to notice that the public IP changes right from your ISP and it is going to send that request to update your um, basically your DNS to Cloudflare and it's going to update the, the the IP address and if we go to let's go ahead and do an NS lookup on this real quick NS lookup to see if it is published already so the DNS that's best hub lab ever that XYZ and you can see that it's now public and you can see that it's being proxy um, through and the way 
this is the, the way to go um, because if you enable the proxy what it's going to be doing is it's basically going to go through Cloudflare proxy first and then it's going to go to your IP address so basically it's going to be able to hide your you're going to we're going to be able to hide our, our IP address from the um, Cloudflare proxy so that's why I like enabling the proxy um, just for your information always if you can um, always enable the pro the proxy with Cloudflare because that's going to be able to hide your um, your home public IP address all right so I believe this is it for this video guys um, thank you guys for watching there's going to be a lot more videos on the best home lab ever thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one bye bye